Hey guys, welcome back to Arcan Assist. This week we've got for you Signar and Trolls. John Blank, a list that he's super excited about, and it's freaking terrifying. Uh, so I'm going to let him take it away with that first. Yeah, sweet. Um, so yeah, this is a list, I mean, if you follow me, I'll be talking on Facebook quite a bit about it. Uh, Twitter as well is my Gristle 2, Power Dunia, Double Bomber, Mountain King, Axer. Uh, they all, bo both Bombers and, and Gristle, both threat 19. Uh, my Mountain King threats, I don't know, Assault. A uh, bunch, 21? 23, 21, something like that. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do the math later. Um, I got a, um, a lot of support. Basically, those those war beasts and a it's, support. It's 20? Because you're fi speed 5, rush to 7, assault for an extra 10 inches. So it's threats 20. There you go, 20. So my Mountain King threats 20 on the assault. Uh, I got Dunia not for support for those rerolls. Um, always one reroll goes on my caster because she's the one with a knockdown gun. So if she hits, the rest of my guys don't need to hit. Uh, max Stone with Elder. Um, I bring the Max in this just because I drop this into Cricks once in a while and able to knock off no incorporeal. Like I use Dash on, like it's just no incorporeal. And then my caster is able to walk up the table and shoot shit and knock things down. Helps me a lot. I beat Ghost Fleet twice with this. I wouldn't say it's the best matchup, but it works for me. And. My free solos are the Room Bear, the Whelps, and Dunia Knot. All right. Seems legit. Uh, what I've brought today is a little something different. It's Maddox in Storm Division. Uh, we have two full units of Storm Lances uh, with Katie Lattimore. All a little bit different now. She has Vet Leader as opposed to the plus two thing. Uh, now we have two Stormclads in her battle group, a Junior with a Firefly, and a unit of Stormblades with unit attachment and the weapon attachment. Only one gun. Uh, and we have a Squire. Uh, really solid list. Really fast and good at armor cracking. And it has some surprisingly long threatening guns because not only do storm not only does like everything in the list have a gun that shoots electricity because sword guns are cool i guess um the entire unit of storm blades has range four guns that i can snipe and make range eight if i wanted to and then they can assault storm lances can have the same thing uh, except their guns are range eight and they can assault even further so if i wanted to i could snipe them that makes their guns range 12, then their speed 8, they assault 3 to 11 to 23 inches on that gun threat. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, we also have Firefly, who can get snipe and likes it, and, and really anything in the list with snipe is a happy camper because we're Signar, we have guns. Uh, Maddox is a really cool caster in that she has four upkeeps on herself with the with Onslaught, Assail, Snipe and Dauntless Resolve all having a variety of different good targets. Uh, Dauntless Resolve being insane on Storm Lances because you thought Arcane Shield Storm Lances were good. Uh, well, this is plus three armor and tough. And I also have a junior for another unit that just gets Arcane Shield. So there are 10 arm 20 Storm Lances. Nobody likes that. Uh, yeah, and some spooky uh, Stormclads that just get Accumulator from my caster because it's cool like that. Cool. So that's my list. Let's head right into the game. So uh, Evan won the dice roll. He decided to choose side this time around. Um, is there any reason for this? Yeah. Uh, I thought that I could get you in such a position that you'd have to come into the zones before I had to, and I could basically wipe whatever comes in out with storm lances that just stay just beyond your threat range. Uh, apologies for the flickering light. We've had some issues with the light we have and it just seems to not want to let up. Uh, so apologies for your eyes for that sometimes in this video. It bothers some people. It Evan. really bothered me. While actually playing this game, my eyes were in such pain just because of the flashing light. It's it's weird because that normally doesn't happen, but I guess looking yeah. at tiny plastic figures on a table and having flashing lights go is just painful. And usually uh, the... Uh Flickering doesn't happen. It's, no. It's weird. I don't know what's going on with my uh, electricity at my house today. Uh, fun story. Grizzle wa ran up because she just did a bunch of things that don't require her to, uh, you know, do anything. Uh, so 
She has threat range, or John asked threat range. She didn't. Uh, Storm Lances can threat 23 Yeah, because was... of the aforementioned snipe assault thing. Uh, so she steps back a bit because she doesn't have any transfers because she dumped all of the fury into the stone. Yeah, so basically, uh, first turn in this list, going first or second. Going second, I tend to uh, go for a lot of deviations and try to kill stuff because usually you're in threat ranges at that time. Uh, but when going first here, I'm just like, okay, th- uh, rush the Axe will rush the bomber, charge. Um, Gristle will rush and rush, and she actually moved just six and put three in the stone. Because uh, harmonious things. Uh, Genesis on range of the forest. I uh, stay within three inches, or the key really can't charge me, you can't see me. And the rest just kind of move up, and I put uh, no continuous effects up first turn. Drop down to two. And I'm just moving stuff up, getting ready for the following turn for basically my alpha on either your caster or a lot of your units because this list threats 19. So I basically threat over the zone and then some. Yeah. It's pretty terrifying with the guns. Uh, normally, Signar would be the one projecting a lot of threat with their guns in something like Kara Sloan or Haley 2. Uh, however, I'm mostly a melee list. I could do some well. cutesy... Like assault charges, <laughs> yeah. and just try to shoot things that way. But it really um, restricts how I have to move my list because that means I have to go directly towards you in a lot of cases, which I don't necessarily want to do. So on my first turn, I'm basically going to make this huge crescent around the middle zone, threatening it with almost everything, and staying just out of the Mountain King's threat range and spacing just enough that. Bombers won't kill everything in my list. Yeah, you always threat me in melee. I do. So, like, but I always threat you in guns. Yeah. It's uh, really opposite than normal. Mm hmm. So, these storm blades walk up, they mini feet. Uh, now I'm moving the storm lances, doing the. Mo- maneuvering around this forest in such a way that doesn't really hinder me too much. Uh, the water in the middle is not going to worry me too much, and I can hide a lot behind that wall up top because of onslaught, uh, giving me essentially a relentless charge for everything in my control area. Super useful spell, as it turns out. Um, I'm not too worried about the Stormclad going through this forest because of the aforementioned onslaught and the fact that it only really needs to move up five inches this turn, considering the fact that the Mountain King's terrifying. Uh, These lances, going to keep a couple on the hill, make it harder for them to be shot down. Um, Positioning also in such a way that my junior doesn't have to go laterally in order to cast Arcane Shield on the red unit of Storm Lances. Uh, my caster's going to have to after I've moved these purple ones, but that's fine. She doesn't want to move more than, what, two inches up the table? Uh, or else I'm in threat of a Mountain right, King in your and your caster. So, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, my caster doesn't threat that far right now. He, she only threats probably the zone in an inch right yeah. now. So she is far away. Uh, I'm trying to think. She's 16 up the board. No, she's seven, Slightly 13 up the board. Uh, yeah, you you're, you stay. I stay out of Janissa, or not Janissa. You stay outside what? of my yeah, bombers Grizzle. and Gristle, but you stay within a kill shot of my A kill Mountain shot King. of the Mountain Not King. a kill shot, the assault shot. For assault. Yes, that one. Because he can uh, yeah. assault uh, a lance that's in front of him and put the spray over top of her, mm-hmm. which is cool. Uh, dice... Even for damage, but like if you have transfers or redu- reductions, I should say, it's yeah. not that bad. I can't kill you because you're more than 16 boxes, I think. I think you're 17. Yeah. So, upkeep wise, uh, again, Arcane Shield on the red unit, Dauntless Resolve on the purple <laughs> unit, Snipe on a on a Stormclad because they have a really threatening gun at range, at POW 14, range 12 now with the Snipe. And this other Stormclad gets a sail. Um, makes it threat a lot further. It's speed 5 normally. 7 goes to 10, 12-inch threat. Also having assault. This this th- uh, list exerts a lot of pressure in terms of threat ranges thanks to assault. This list is scary on her feet turn. If you can get all like six or seven lances charging on like my Mountain King, you're basically going to kill on her feet turn. Like, mm-hmm. It's really scary. So, um... Right now, I'm debating if I want to keep up uh, upkeep uh, a sail. Uh, wow, a sailing. Uh, Discord, uh, because it's five inches of uh, whaling. Can't give or receive orders. Uh, we're measuring 12. This is a mistake right now. Uh, halfway through this, Evan's like, he only have 10. 12 is his like, 
reach too. So like I'm measuring all this time, wasting some time and measuring five inches. Do you see what you get? So we're messing around, checking if I have assault on your caster. Yeah, because you were like, I'll assault here. Assault. And I'm like, well, you actually have to end yeah. in such a way that your charge would have eventually landed you in melee. So, so we got to get a little tighter. Yeah. But I'll explain what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my Mountain King up the board, get assault shot on a relevant target, and have as many lances as possible within five so they can't run and charge. If I clip his leader, can't give or get, can't give or receive orders. Yeah, so, not great. Right now, I get one leader. The other leader I do not get. I'm just debating if I want to do this. I'm um, asking threat rangers now of everything because, like, unfortunately, he doesn't have a static threat debate de uh, depending on how he passes out uh, onslaught. Yes. Right, is onslaught no a sail? If he passes out as onslaught, uh, a sail it gives sail. me plus two inches of movement. So I'm like, okay, cool. Now I got to figure out all this. I'm figuring out can two of them kill me under my feet turn. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's also. Strange in that, uh, as a focus six caster in storm division with storm clouds, I'm not particularly strapped for focus because of accumulator on those storm clouds. That's so really neat. I get extra focus. Basically, they're both at going to be at two at the start of my turn, so I'm not too strapped to be actually transferring over a sail constantly. So there's a switch to ten. Yep. Uh, I didn't upkeep it anyways, so like we're like okay, cool. Switch to ten. I'm just trying to find the best angle. Yeah, you haven't actually like done anything. No. You like this is probably the deciding factor as to whether or not you do upkeep Discord. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't. I said I didn't upkeep it. I'm like, cool. What's my plan here? I'm like, I check if Janessa, you little cute play here, she can walk six, and then she can uh, use her tectonic, tectonic shift, shift and pull models three inches towards the table edge. And I'm like, oh, if I pull a lancer three inches, that means. You're within five of my Mountain King. If he lands mm -hmm. there, I can beat you down and get another assault shot. But, of course, she was out. She was out by, like, an inch and a half. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm messing around here. I got my six. I'm trying to figure out what I can do here. Um, I did a lot of... It takes me a lot of time this list. Like, you'll yep. see me play this list. It takes me a lot of time this, this turn because, like I said, top of, uh, this top is of two or bottom of two is my most crucial turns in this list. Yeah, this, this is the apex turn. Yeah, because the work I can do in this turn sets me up next turn, all because of my feet. Because with my feet, I get unyielding and repo three. So I can push myself up seven inches and back off four. Or three, sorry. Yeah. Which then protects me from whatever can charge me and how I position it. I mean, my bombers can go up seven, come back three. So, like, they push that damage and come back. That's why I have the whelps. So, here we go. Janessa went up. Jan Janessa. Yeah, Janessa went up. No, Grizzle. Grizzle went up, too. Grizzle, two went up. Seven, because I cast dash. She fire strike herself. So, she's on two. Or, she cast used two. She's on four. I boost a hit when these bad boys. Uh, Lancer, who is also by other two Lancers, with storm, her knockdown storm gun. Storm Lances. Uh, yeah, sorry. So, he knocks down three uh, Storm lance Lances. Storm Lances. But second shot. Target Lattimore, boost to hit. I uh, hit. I uh, boost damage on Lattimore because she's pretty scary. Try to kill her. Dice off a few. Uh, armor 17. Uh, yep. So Lattimore doesn't have Dauntless Resolve or Arcane Shield. Do so she's seven. only 17. I do uh, do quite a bit. Do do a few. That was a good damage roll. So I also knocked down another three um, chargers. Like, you can't charge now. Yeah. They're knocked down. Yeah, yeah. So I'm measuring for 12 to what I get here. I'm debating, do I knock down more lances, uh, lancers, or do I just like try to take out someone? It's a, uh, there's no nowhere else where I can like knock down multiple models. I did my three and three, which is huge. I don't think Evan was expecting me to knock down six models. Yeah, no, this is a lot more. Up. Gristle plays this sort of weird control game that you wouldn't expect from a yeah. caster like her because she has uh, an interesting spell list of. Discord, which is kind of a controlly spell, it, it, to be to admit, uh, deflection and dash, and that's 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 it. She's just got three spells. But um, discord will prevent orders and stuff. Uh, dash makes her play really well with a lot of warrior models, or just herself in the case of John's list. Um, and deflection lets her play a bit of a brick game. 
because it's the armor one, not the defense one? No, it's plus two defense. It's the defense one. Okay. So plays l- still lets her play a bit of a brick game. You're just shooting more stuff. I'm just shooting the knockdown lance just to try to put some damage into him. I did one damage to him. I uh, revealed back three, and my feet was up. Um, yeah. Camping one. So just to con- continue on with my point, uh, she doesn't have any real control spells like TK or like um, Crippling Grasp or anything like that. But what she does have is a really rad gun that knocks things down, and that's really all she needs against infantry models like Stormlances, because, well, when you knock down six of them, they're controlled. They're not going to charge you, except for the two models in each unit that can, and that's not the crippling five-man Stormlance charge that just rips heavies off the table. It's it's just not, because they, they're either standing still and shooting things, or they're moving a bit, like yeah. yeah. It basically I neutered his uh, ch- charges with his lancers. She's a really good control caster against infantry models. Yeah, and you don't, and it's rate of fire three, so she can knock you down three times. Yep. So uh, bomber walks up, shoots Lattimore, uh, dismounts her. She is now dismounted and knocked down. Even better. Uh, second shot, shot the leader that was knocked down. Pile sixteen kills. Boom. I'm on four fury. Reap back three. Cool. I'll take it. Playing it real safe. I'm debating what I can do here. And I'm like, cool. I'm just going to try and neuter as many uh, Lancers as I can. I put Rush on this bomber. Uh, bomber walks seven now. Like, this yeah. is <laughs> staring right at me, Evan. Woo, look into my eyes. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, you missed the, the repo on the Axie here. You just go back and no. do it after you realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm going to repo. you realize, oh, wait, he's supposed to move back behind. Mountain, yeah, I, I so said he this. Doesn't block everything. Yeah, I said I said this is what I was going to do at the start of the turn. This is how it's going to play out, and like we're pretty casual, we're pretty competitive as well. I'm debating who I want to shoot here. Oh, Ae four. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, you're shooting. I, I'm not shooting anything. I'm just nothing. I'm looking around. I fire strike myself, <laughs> and I'm I'm trying to figure out where to shoot. You were thinking about shooting the firefly because I think it would clip a storm blade and that storm lance. Yeah, but um, I'm like, but you it's know only what? how. S- Eight blast. Eight blast on unarmed 20 models? Yeah. It's not quite worth so it. So I figure that my best course of action is to try to kill as many storm lances as possible this turn. I hit the knockdown one. It clips the one behind. Yeah. I ask Evan to check it. It does. Power 16. I boost it. It kills. So now I've killed two. I'm like, cool. I'll shoot the other one that's knocked down. Why not? If I can neuter this unit of lancers, well, then I'm I pretty mean, set. You already have. You've killed two of them. And they're knocked them. down. That's... A lot of the units. Uh, boost damage. And, yeah, the <laughs> one destroyed. being knocked down is just, it, it's done. It's toast. So the red unit doesn't have anything knocked down anymore. They're good. It, no, they just have three dead models. Three dead models now because <laughs> I killed the ones knocked down with my bomber. Uh, Yeah, no. That's a, it's, it's going really good. well. So it's now I'm like, cool. Well. I'm like, Dines no go. I'm like, she's only speed six. She'll charge. I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, wait. She's speed seven because I cast dash. So she's now in charge range now she's in of charge a range. down storm lance. I'm like, sweet. Because she goes to speed six. She goes to, uh, yeah, goes to seven, charges 10, half inch reach. It was, I was outside 10 earlier, but I'm inside 10 and a half. Yep. I'm like, sweet. This, this is actually going to work. Janessa charges. Auto hit. Armor, Armor piercing. piercing, pow nine. Uh, dice minus three because I'm halved to nine, but have dauntless resolve. It's just straight kills me. Sweet. Guess what, guys? She has battle, battle wizard. wizard. Platonic shift. Let's pull him Tectonic with. Platonic shift. Let's pull him Bring, towards me. Yep. Guess brings what? me in threat of the. My battle. mountain king can now charge the one guy. <laughs> Super mopey storm lances right there. Amazing. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's amazing for one player. <laughs> oh, it's just amazing play because I didn't think of it at the start. And then, like, I'm going to move her. I'm like, wait, she has dash. Oh, she can charge now. Let's do this. I, mean, I, I, well I just now put Pup Master up. You know, after all this, I put Pup Master up, forgetting to do it. Um, I charge. All things considered, I think you did all right. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to complain. This this list is doing what it does. It puts my Mountain King up in the middle of the table with uh, basically unyielding now. It gets an assault shot, which hits Lattimore and the Storm Lance. I miss this Lance. I anything but hit Lattimore. I hit Lattimore, pow 16, I kill Lattimore. Look at that. Lattimore's off the table. Huge. Uh, Storm Lance, I boost a hit, I kill. He is tough, though. Dauntless Resolve gives tough. Doesn't tough. I get another kill shot. 
Well, I'm going to try to kill as many lances as I can. I'll shoot the one that's knocked down. Uh, I nope. think eventually you decide to shoot the one on the hill. I decided to shoot the one on the hill. I boost hit. I, I hit. You needed a 10 because you're at 5. Yep. It uh, works boost out. Boost damage. I do you nothing. You puppet master. I'll puppet master this, and I kill. You super kill him. There you go. So guess what? Each unit has two lancers left, and one lancer is knocked down. Uh, the leader is knocked down in that purple unit. But wait. There's more. Uh... Yeah, because my whelp's running the zone. <laughs> There's not yeah. much more after my turn now. Yeah. <laughs> whelps are running. Uh, just to be within one inch of my war beast, because he can like, snack one inch, like heal one inch. My stone goes. Uh, no continuous effects. Uh, I make sure I'm within five, just in case he kills one of my stone aura. Then, like, it doesn't. Well, he has to kill a lot of my stone aura to go down, but I make sure it's within five. That's a new thing I've been trying to do. It's like pulls, TK, stuff like that. Try to make it within one inch yeah. less. Uh, I pass my turn. I clean my side. I'm like, Evan, your turn. Bottom of two. You can start right. scoring. So my plan here, I accumulate on to both Stormclads. I upkeep basically all the spells. I have three on my caster because I also take one off the Squire. I allocate to full on the one Stormclad. The one is fine. The junior allocates one to the Firefly so it can boost hit, boost damage on his gun. Uh, the face skill of the Mounted King is such that I don't have to engage it to trigger on yielding in order to get the Stormclad in, which is great because it means it's dice even as opposed to dice minus two, which is a huge difference. Um, so I'm hoping to get some huge damage on the Mountain King with the Stormclad and then finish it off with four Stormlance charges. Sorry, three Stormlance charges because one of them's knocked down. But under my feet, they're super high power. They're power um, 18. Yeah. Super good. So, because of Brutal Charge. Yes, that's the one. Um, yeah. Uh, and in the bottom zone, I'm just going to kill the objective with some Stormblades um, because... That's really all they have to do. Uh, and then hopefully the Firefly will be able to walk into that zone and score some for me. So that's where we're at right now. So where to start, where to start. Uh, I believe I'm just d debating on also, like, maybe I can get to your caster because I have a lot of assault guns. I have probably three assaults from Storm Lances as well as an assault or two even from Stormclads. So it's fifteen nineteen with two, with one transfer. On my caster, is that what you're going for? Uh, she's deaf. She's arm seventeen goes to nineteen with a stone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not great, but with one transfer, it's, it's all right. Um, that's an option, potentially, but we we choose not to go for it. You uh, shoot Janessa or your caster here. Yes. Uh, I sh shoot. I do all the spells. I move up and I shoot Janissa with a cat with my caster because her gun is pretty awesome. Range ten, power yeah, twelve. Really good. Um, it's not quite a hand cannon, but it has some cool rules. Uh, it's lightning type. I also would, if uh, Lattermore were alive, I'd get plus one from veteran leader. Uh, do enough damage that Janissa has to tough. She makes it. All right, all right. Unit of Stormblades in the bottom. Charges the objective. So, uh, these guys are, we start with the assault shots. So strong, these guys. We start with the assaults because uh, they're dice off four because of the lightning rod. So, uh, yeah, they just roll dice. Let's see how this goes. So, not the ones to hit because they still have to roll a hit because guns. Uh, they're not melee attacks against the objective. After all of these dice rolls, I kill it with the last gun available on the assault. So they don't even get to make their charge attacks. No need. Works for me. <laughs> Maybe I should have sent one or two into that bomber. Maybe. But whatever. Firefly is barely within 11 inches of that bomber, so I'm going to walk six and shoot it with my gun. Because uh, I'm also planning on, later in the turn, shooting my Stormclad at that bomber. Getting a couple extra boxes in. Uh, I boost it. Roll five. You def twelve and I'm rat six, so I miss. Misses. It's not great. Troll defense. <laughs> not great. Uh, so now I do my charge with the stormclad. Get into the back arc of the mountain king. So get it's get within uh, one inch because of my buckler. Uh, armor twenty one. Your pow twenty one because your feet. Yep. 
Uh, but I also get my assault and my offhand punch. Yep. So here we go. Uh, assault shot does nothing, but it e-leaps, kills a whelp. Yes. Everything has e-leap, so basically every time he spawns a whelp. No, no, you always kill the one ahead of it. Yeah, I kill the one ahead of it, because yeah. I also hit you with my shield, and that does not have e-leap. But you do damage here. But I do damage. Yep. Do quite a bit of damage. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, going. Um, overall, I do pretty decent damage to begin with, and then I miss an attack, which means I do so much less than I should have against this mountain king. Yes, so uh, the miss attack, I spawn a whelp. Like, he hits, he leaps because of whelp. Doing damage, dice even, does five. I spawn a whelp. Yeah. Like, it's back and forth here. Like, I even roll a five there for damage. It's not great. Um, there's one. There's 11 a good, there. There's a good spike. Kind of makes up for the miss. But the miss damage just... It, it really crushes my hopes. After instead of done, uh, you took about half out, let's say. Yeah. I, I think a little over half, to tell you the truth. You did a little over half. I felt pretty comfortable comfortable with him surviving. Um, now I'm measuring for the storm lenses. Originally, I'm like, I can go in such a way that I don't engage. And then I was like, wait, there are two of them. So this one is going to engage you regardless. So it didn't matter in the end anyway. So we just went with it. Yep. So they're POW. They'll be what POW? So their POW 16 goes to 18 with Brutal Charge. Sorry, their POW 13 plus 5, essentially, because of my Gross. feet. That's really charge. good. Really good. Uh, so you walked up with Storm, um, Stormclad. I decided shot. to shoot with my Stormclad at the Mountain King. I boost it and damage. It's That's a three. couple more points. Basically, I'm just trying to chip away at this Mountain King and just hope it dies. Because if it does not, I'm in super bad trouble. Uh Storm Lances, charging, uh, impact, two yeah, whelps. This was a mistake from my part. I should have moved the whelp over a little more, but that's okay. Kill you both. Kill both. And then I move in a little bit more just because I can. This Storm Lance goes in such a way that he impacts the Mountain King, but does not get my Storm Clad in its melee range. Yeah, we measured out here in a second. One second. Yep, we're good. Cool. Uh, so... Assault shots first. They're only POW 12 because the Lancer is not... Or Firefly. Wow, now I'm calling them Lancers. Firefly <laughs> is not within five inches of the Mountain King. Uh, E-leap into Janessa. This is pretty solid. E-leap into Janessa. Two, two, two E-leaps. Uh, the first one hits and kills her because she doesn't tough. She does not tough. The second E-leap goes into the bomber. The bomber, armor 20. Can't do anything. Yeah, doesn't really do anything. Uh, and now we're just doing our charge attacks. Do so much less than I was hoping for. Do three, uh, the first one. Second one, you do uh, yeah. a little more here. Do, do six. She rolls average. She rolls, yeah, rolls that 11. Six Gets to the, the amount of damage. One. Or six yeah, to six. So you might realize, wait, he rolled a he column there. And then we we completely forgot which column yeah, I had rolled. Yeah. As often happens in games, you know, it's just a easily fixed by just rolling Second another Second charge. Dice. Hits. Yes, so this is just continuing. The second chart. Yeah, so uh, you did, um, I don't know, I think you did decent. Did maybe all right. Uh, this Storm Lance is now going in, making sure, of course, he's in onslaught range first. He only has to go one over the charge, though, on this unit. Only one, because the other guy was knocked down. Uh, hits, hits, he the, leaves. Yeah, hits the assault, because Storm Lances have basically three attacks each. Kills another whelp. Uh, does some charge damage. Does a couple more points. As you can see, my Mountain King is pretty low on health, but I'm pretty sure in that one... In Horde's terms, we like to call that fully operational. Very true, especially with whelps. Whelps are tasty, yeah. and they, they basically heal themselves. Um, Evan switched clock over. He scores one. I actually scored two. We just marked it wrong. Because uh, I score one for killing the objective oh, yeah, and one for the firefly. Two. Yeah, okay. He scored two. Evan scores two. Guys. Um, I take six, uh, measuring things out. So what's your plan this turn? Clear caster. Um, <laughs> wow. Yep. Top three, man. Games don't go any longer than this. Okay. Top three. Here we go. Killing the caster. I don't know. The last time we played, it went pretty damn long. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, not with this list. This list is top two, top three, bottom two, bottom three, and that's it. No more. Uh, I'm measuring seven for my caster because she has dash. So I figure if she dashes over, I ask Evan, does he have line of sight? He's like, yep, I can see it right here. Uh, bomber can walk there. He'll have line of sight. I'm like, hmm, how do I get my other bomber in? I can't right now because I need to kill some things. 
That's fine. So I decided to move a stone, plus one strength. Stay out of the range. I move my Puppet Masters. Uh, plus one strength this time. It's only a five inch aura. It hits uh, my Mountain King. That's all that matters. Harmonious McCaster, because that's a thing that you do every turn. I'm on six. Pup, uh, Pup Master. I Pup Master a Bomber, my Caster, and the Mountain King. Uh, like I always say, my Caster always gets Pup Master, because once he knocks it down, it's basically GG. Um, Welp runs towards Mountain King so he can heal him. Mountain King activates now. Just because I want to get a kill shot to lower your defense. Just, just in case shit I hits a fan and I fail. I heal two whelps, heal four. Two whelps are dead. Uh, Mountain King's going to turn just enough where I can have your Stormcloud in my melee. So if I have enough attacks, I can try to punch it to death. So first attack is on the Stormlance in front of me. Because my goal here is to get a kill shot. Oh no, Stormlance in the pond of acid. I yeah. hit. I'm pow 20. Kill five boxes. Maybe should have boosted. I heal for two. Uh, I kill shot the lance in front of me. Now, no, no. I kill shot your caster, which... I, I actually wasn't sh sure about this. I I was vaguely remembering that you could only target uh, models in your melee range with ranged attacks while you're engaging them. But that also could just be a rule in the Desert Hydra. I wasn't sure at the time when we were playing this. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was not in a great state of mind. The flickering lights just kept, like brutalizing my eyeballs um so maybe i can only target i I, honestly, I wasn't sure please let us know if we yeah, did this wrong it, it, it doesn't okay i missed your caster i think anyways so we went with the puppet master i miss yep you yeah you just barely missed both times yeah i hit the storm lance so without boosting it it's true <laughs> uh power 16 in the storm lance uh you get a tough check oh no i'll leave you on one and then I that's buy the inside. arcane shield yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you get tough he, he doesn't then have buy an attack and kill you. Yeah. So I didn't. Yeah, I didn't hit your caster with the, with the range attack, so that's okay. So you just and now you just clobber the uh, storm. Ah, uh, dice plus bad. one, right? Yeah. Dice 19. plus one. So I hit with sixes. I uh, trip sixes. Sorry. Uh, roll thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Evan just shaking his head. Uh, Mountain King's full. I cast dash. I walk there. I cast dash for one. I cast one for fire strike. Um, boost to hit. I hit. Caster's knocked down. I uh, boost damage. Power 14. Dice off too. Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, second one hits. Um, I boost damage. Dice off two. Does eight more. So I did seven and eight. And my caster just killed this caster. That's Crystal 2 for you. Um, yeah. She is brutal. This list is dirty. It's my secret little tech. And uh, now after well, this is out. Well, it's not so secret anymore. No, I was going to say after this is out now, it's not so secret. I mean, also, I mean, like, hold on, wait. All over By Twitter. now, the, the tournament we're going to with this list has happened already. Hopefully. So hopefully we won the WTC uh, fundraiser tournament for, for Team Canada. As uh, Crystal 2 carries trolls. If not, God damn it, Josh, it's all your fault. Yeah, for sure. So that's, that's Crystal 2. That's the list I mean, definitely talking about on Twitter. Uh, Twitter? Twitter. Twitter on and Traitor. Facebook. And I feel like. <laughs> If anyone has any questions, please hit me up. You know where to find me. Uh, Evan, where can they find you? They can find me on Facebook, uh, as many of you already have, or on Twitter at Estellos, A-S-T-E-L-L-O-S. I mostly just tweet like games I have played, and I've actually been really slacking on that recently. I should I should update that with like the past five or six <laughs> games I've played. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for cool stuff. And see you next Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, whenever we release videos these days.